You can turn toilet rolls into brand new pieces of paper that are perfect for making birthday cards, thank you cards, and Valentine's Day cards. Happy Valentine's Day, Beck. Thanks, I love this paper, where did you get it? In this video, I'll show you how to make recycled paper. Are you ready? Then let's get science. To do this at home, you will need some used paper or paper products, two large containers, a blender, a sieve, a sponge, pieces of cotton, and a mold and decal. I cut these pieces of cotton from an old bed sheet and these pieces from a t-shirt. They will work perfectly. I also made my mold and decal from two wooden picture frames and some ultra fine mesh. Simply remove the backing and glass from the frames and staple a piece of mesh to one of the frames, pulling it tight as you staple it. The mesh frame will be the mold and the other frame will be the decal. I'll be showing you all the steps for turning toilet rolls into recycled paper, but all these steps are the same for recycling, food boxes, egg cartons, and any other type of used paper. Start by ripping the toilet rolls into smaller pieces and placing these pieces in a large container. If you have a paper shredder, you can use it to make this step a bit faster. Just don't add too much at once. Next, add some water so that all the paper is covered and leave this to soak for 24 hours. The next day, add two handfuls of this paper to the blender and fill the blender with water. Blend it on the highest setting for about five minutes. This will turn the shredded paper into a pulp. Make sure you use an older blender as it's best not to use this for food again. If you don't have a blender, you can place the handfuls of paper into a large bowl, add water, and break it up using your hands instead. Strain the pulp to remove some of the water and then set it aside in another container. Then repeat all of these steps. Add two handfuls of paper to the blender, fill the blender with water, blend for five minutes, and then strain the pulp. Once you've turned all your paper into pulp, Rinse out the large container and fill it with water. Add a big handful of pulp to the water and spread it around, making sure you break up any large clumps. Give the water another stir and then hold the sides of your mold and decal together and slide it into the water. Give it a little bit of a shake and then carefully lift it out. Once most of the water has run through, balance the mold on the edge of the container and remove the decal. Let a bit more water run off the paper and then transfer it face down to a cotton sheet. Use a sponge to soak up the water on the back of the paper. Press down the side that you're going to lift up and then hold your cotton sheet tight while lifting your mold. Place the sheet on a flat surface to dry and then repeat all of these steps to make more pieces of paper. Add a little more pulp to the container, give it a stir Slide your mold and decal into the water, give it a shake and lift it out, remove the decal, transfer it to another cotton sheet, dry the back with a sponge, press down and lift the mold and leave it somewhere to dry. After 24 hours, your paper should be dry and ready to take off the cotton sheet. Use your finger to carefully lift up one edge of the sheet, then peel the paper off and you're done. So how does this work? You probably already know that paper comes from trees or plants. But what you might not know is that there's one compound that's super important for making paper. This compound is called cellulose. It's used by trees and plants to help them to hold their shape and so that they can grow really tall. Cellulose is a long chain of sugar molecules. Let's use this spaghetti to represent it. With a bit of work, the cellulose in these plants can be separated from the other compounds and what we're left with is called paper pulp. When the pulp is added to water and lifted out on a mesh, the cellulose fibers intertwine randomly. Once the sheet dries, these chains hold each other in place. You can make paper pulp from plants and trees, but as we saw today, you can also make it from paper and paper products. Here's the paper I made from toilet rolls, food boxes, egg cartons, and used paper. Now you know everything you need to make your own paper. 
Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on Silly Science with Simon.